Hello, ladies and gents. Uh, my name is Stephanie. Uh, we're going to take this opportunity and share our story. This is a powerful testimony that we would like to share in an effort to encourage people who may go through the same thing that we've went through or may know someone that goes through it or personally just release because we release this complete healing. So we embarked on this journey last year and started off with um, I being pregnant and starting a new phase, starting a new phase in our lives. And about 21 weeks, unfortunately, I was hospitalized and I was in the hospital for four weeks. So at that four week mark, it and I was 24 weeks and five days. It was determined that Henry Jr. needed to come out because being in was being in the womb was more detrimental than it, him being out. In spite, despite the fact that he gestationally was not prepared to come out at 24 weeks and five days. However, this is this is what God had wanted, and this is what happened. So. He came out and with be- big, beautiful, bold, white eyes, and we instantly fell in love. But at the same time, we had no idea what we were in for the journey. His lungs weren't developed at the time of his birth, so he was on a ventilation machine, helping him breathe, inspire and expire, helping him inhale air and expire air. His bones weren't developed, his bone marrow wasn't working, so he was anemic, he had to have several blood transfusions while in the hospital early on, he was determined that he had a a, a slight bleed in his brain early on within the first week, he had an infection within the first week, a huge infection where he had to be on two antibiotics, he wasn't maintaining his blood pressure, he had to be on medication steroids to increase his blood pressure he was having a hard time with all these different factors thank you so we just took it day by day and it's only god's grace that we can we can share our story today from a side of defeat rather than a side of from a side that we defeated it rather from a side of being defeated so the blue light that you see in the picture really illustrates that it's kind of early on when he had an immature liver therefore things weren't being done effectively such as he had bilirubin so that phototherapy that you see that blue light is actually phototherapy in an effort to um to get rid of the bilirubin in his blood and avoid it so it can become soluble and come out in the urine and avoid it becoming going to his brain at that young age because that can that can be very detrimental to him so that was one thing then i know you see all the different lines going through in and out of his body all the different apparatus on his feet on his face so on his feet he had a blood pressure cuff that they used to check the blood pressure frequently he had also an oxygen monitor to assess his oxygenation in his blood as well as he had lines going in him for IV access, for fluids, and for blood. He had lines going in him to check his heart rate, to, to continue to check the rhythm in, of his heart, his heart rhythm. Uh, he had the apparatus on his face, very, very big, helping him to get that air in and expel that air, helping to the avenue of help, the apparatus, avenue of help for it. So he started off with ventilation system. Then he went down to continuing positive pressure. Then he went down to NPPV. Then he went down to just the oxygen, oxygen nasal cannula where he was just getting oxygen to continue to encourage him, his oxygenation within his bloodstream. It has been, I tell you, a whirlwind. We learned so much about the medical jargon. I, I, I learned on top of what I know you know so we came to a point where it was just like so hard you know every day we came to the hospital for about 104 days he was in the hospital every day we would come one day everything would be amazing the next day everything won't be such amazing 
he had some days he had apnea spells uh, and they say ap- of prematurity that it's a normal thing but for me it's like oh my god he's, he's, he's not breathing he's not moving he's he's turning gray i would think all these things but for the nurses there and working at the amazing north side NICU they knew everything they calm us down and they'll re- remind us of how this works and the commonalities you frequently see you know his um we also noticed that his he had a time he had an anemia of prematurity which resulted in three blood transfusions that he had to experience so he got sticked quite a lot um you know it's it's just been a journey and we thank god ultimately above all above what we could ask say or think or even imagine we thank god for his grace for his grace his mercy his profound presence his love we're just so grateful for these things you know so as we're going along we noticed that he was growing too he started off as really small one pound 14 ounces 13 inches long and eight centimeters of um head circumference wow so he barely had flesh when he was born but as time has gone by he went from a uh, a nasal gastric tube eater to actually being able to handle a bottle at 35 weeks with the help of great developmental people that continue to encourage his development his sucking reflex to for him to suck on a smaller pacifier then increase it to a larger pacifier then finally to the bottle so just amazing amazing developmental people here um, that encouraged us and pushed us and reminded of us of good and not evil you know that was so beautiful and it's so helpful. Additionally, 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 we start. We continue to visit him every day, like we, like I said, and we started to see his development. His get, his getting thicker, his face coming out more, his color being more evident, his personality being more evident. And you know, the nurses had a little saying in the hospital that he was very fidgety very feisty like to let him know anytime he they were coming near him that who's who's really boss but um we never experienced that in in the hospital per se but when he came out we knew for sure that who's boss so um that very first night actually we 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 had an acne monitor and the apnea monitor was supposed to tell us and assess when he's breathing and when he's not breathing through the night. It thing went off three times. Oh my God. We were like, what is going on here? What is going on here? I was frequently, I would um, like frantically just get up and rush trying to put on the light to see if he's turning blue. Is he turning green? Is he turning red? What is going on? What is going on? And he was just fidgeting in the bed. So it's really like a whirlwind experience, you know? And... We know that God is going to use it for our good. So we wanted to take this opportunity and share. Because sharing is caring. Sharing is inspiring. Sharing is, is imparting knowledge that and the next person won't have to go through. Sharing is just genuine, genuine love from the purest and the deepest of the heart. You know, so we wanted to do that with you. We want to share our lives, share our experience, share our journey with this miracle baby because we feel led to. We feel led that our story can make an impact on millions. So please follow us, subscribe, ask questions, and and we will answer welcome, welcomely and with humbly. So he is now... 14 pounds. Henry Jr. is now 14 pounds. 8 ounces. He's now 22 inches long. And now within his age, adjusted age group, he is within the 90 the 90 percentile. So, within the 90 percentile for his height and weight combined together in comparison. So, that in itself shows how good, how good God is. You know, he started t- handling puree f- foods as well she started handling puree food that's very exciting so we are just so grateful as to what god is doing for us and how he's led us thus far one of the greatest lessons i've learned throughout this experience is trust god trust god trust god he always prevails 
So be blessed, everybody. Be encouraged, everybody. And be on the lookout for us. We love you with the love of the Lord. Many blessings unto you. In Jesus' name, amen.